I'm Paula. I'm Renata. I am Priscilla. We've come all the way from Brazil to unravel the mystery of the Australian wines. Let us take you on a tour and discover what's behind these famous labels. Small this is wonderful! For me It's all nice. it's About an hour south of Adelaide on the famous limestone coast lies a little-known region called Langhorn Creek. Home to just a handful of cellar doors, Langhorn Creek burst onto the map in 2004 thanks to Bremerton Wines. Today we're heading to Bremerton Wines to hear their famous story. So join us as we discover what's behind the Bremerton label. Lucy, can you tell us about your story of you and your sister, how you started everything here? Yeah, so um, Bremerton was started by our parents mm -hmm. as, a, um, as a bit of a hobby and a lifestyle change. Um, and both Rebecca and I found our own ways into the business. So um, we had a newspaper publishing um, business when we were growing up and Rebecca actually went and did marketing um, to go into the newspapers, uh, but she didn't want to go to a city campus in, at the uni, so she went to a regional campus and it actually happened to be wine marketing instead of just marketing. So one of her first subjects was um, introductory wine making and that was the end of that story. Um, <laughs> So she finished her marketing and um, then she went off and, and did a few vintages in um, over in America and she did a couple up in um, Clare. Awesome. And so then she um, got her way back into the business and I um, I actually did outdoor recreation. So I've, um, oh, I've got some. I did bushwalking and kayaking <laughs> and rock that. climbing. Um, and that's what I studied at university. And okay. then I was going over to America to do a summer camp and while I, I had come home to earn some money to go over there, and whilst I was over there, I received a fax, because this is pre-email, um, a fax from my dad saying, here's a full-time job if you would like it, um, but oh, you wow. need to be home by November the 4th. My God. So um, that was 24 years ago, and <laughs> um, yeah, I came home. Um, I cut my trip short by about a month, and then, um, yeah, came home and I've been here ever since. So he said, if that's what you'd like to do and if, if this is what you want to do, I'll help you grow the business. So the really good thing for us has been that we've been able to grow it um, as a family rather than it just being passed to us, um, yeah. you know, by our parents. So we now um, produce between 30 and 40,000 cases, depending on the vintage. So it's oh, been uh, an amazing <laughs> growth. Oh, yeah. um, that's awesome. About uh, sort of early 2000s, um, we started to take over a little bit more of the management of the business. So, we, <laughs> and that's when Rebecca and I took over as um, as co-general managers, basically. Yeah. So she's in charge of the production side. So she does the winemaking side and the video side, mm -hmm. um, and then I do the sales and marketing and office and finance and. I often get called the head of the colouring in department. Oh wow, and that's publicity. my title. Huge. And the publicity as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For you. The story about these wines specifically, have like a nice story about 2004? Yeah. So, <laughs> the so, yeah. 2004? Oh. Um, so the um, old Adam is actually going back to, there was a family who helped us out because our vines were quite a bit younger. Mm -hmm. um, they had some really old Shiraz vines and they allowed us to buy some fruit from Great. them. That's good. Um, and their surname was Adams. So oh. old Adam is just uh, really it's our way of family. coming to say thank you for helping us get started. Yeah, um, we use all our own fruit now, but they, they helped us start in the beginning. So um, yeah, old Adam in 2004, <laughs> it really helped put us on the map because yeah. uh, the Halliday book came out and it rated this wine as 96 points. And that was the top Shiraz at the time. Um, there were two other Shiraz that were rated at 96 that same year, yeah. and that was Hill of Grace and Grange. So um, for Rebecca at the time, I think she was Happy. 25, and it was like, wow, wow. this 25 year old female winemaker. Wow, um, that's great. I read so, in the yeah. newspaper about that, like, oh, oh that's the younger awesome. winemaker, get the seven points off at Grange. And, and, you like, know, like, and here's the phrase. <laughs> Business. Yeah. Like yeah. for us as a business, it was bizarre because the phone started ringing at five o'clock that morning. We had no idea, and um, it was a, a radio station in Melbourne that was ringing to speak to Rebecca. And anyway, we worked out what it was all about. I got a phone call from my dad saying, "You need to get here now because the phone 
is running off the hook. So oh all we did is we had two phones at that stage. We took them off the hook. We spent about 10 minutes going, how do we handle this? Like, because we couldn't answer. So we set up, we worked out how much we had left and we had a big whiteboard and it was a running tally. So we were just taking orders. We set a limit of three bottles oh, and within wow. four hours, I think it had all gone as we kept the yeah. tally on the whiteboard. My husband and... was working in uh, hospitality. He said like he, it sold out in the next yeah. day. He said, everyone in the Supreme to come and pop, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's awesome. laughs> and it was really it's funny because awesome. we had a lot of people getting grumpy with us that we'd sold out, but mm -hmm. the wine had actually been available for six months. So it was good in that all of our customers who had been loyal, they already had their stock. So exactly. that was a good thing. And they can yeah. come back and yeah. buy again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, yeah, that was that really helped us. So, <laughs> that's yeah. a great yeah. story. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. No, Thank that's you. Right. Yeah. So guys, today we are in the Bremerton Winery and you're going to taste a lovely wine in Cody Old Adam 2016 Shiraz. So quite famous wine. Uh, for the story you already know. Um, this is actually quite a structured wine with lovely tannins. Label wise, it's Excellent. amazing. Actually, the label we can uh, show again that we have a representation of the O and the A of the old Adams. So here, actually, we have some vines uh, that represent the vines that the family, the Adam family, share with Bremerton, and they could start like a great wines production. They actually good example of sure. It's very attractive wine, beautiful if you wanted to drink it now, but they have potential for age. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, yeah, so enjoy it.